Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Uh, in this video I'm looking at uh, my second HF antenna. I uh, added a second end fed wire. I wanted another antenna for, well occasionally I uh, might want to monitor two frequencies. I might want to listen to a net on one frequency and listen to uh, a pirate radio station on another frequency or maybe I want to record something that's going on on one frequency and, and still be able to... Anyway, you get the picture. I wanted more than one HF antenna that I could use for different things. Uh, a good example would be um, not too long ago I built that uh, QRPP tiny CW transmitter and I had sitting on the corner of my desk here um, a shortwave receiver and a little transmitter and I needed another antenna for it. I switched my antenna back and forth. Would have been nice to have a second antenna to hook into that while I still had the other radio uh, doing something else. So. Anyway, I built a Stealth HF end fed antenna that works well uh, on 80 through 10 meters. I've checked into a local 80 meter net with it, got it hooked up. We're going to listen to it here in a moment. Um, and it tunes on 160, but I don't think it's going to work very well on 160. I might try to check into the net on 160 meters, but the radiator is only 53 feet long. So uh, let's uh, go take a look at the antenna. And then we'll uh, focus on the radio over here and uh, I'll show you how it performs. Here we are on the computer and this is a drawing of the stealth antenna. Now my house is wooden um, and my roof, let's hop over here and take a look at my roof. I don't have an underpinning of aluminum under here. It's open. This is a wooden house. So I've got a perfect area here to stash an antenna up uh, underneath the edge of the roof, which is what I did. Now you could uh, do something like this in your attic. Um, if you have an open attic, you could run a wire around the inside of the attic at the roof line um, and just follow the contour of your roof. Uh, so that would work as well. So the antenna is basically an end fed wire. Um, with a feed point here that has a 9 to 1 un un transformer. And uh, this is the wiring configuration for a 9 to 1 un un. Uh, just search the internet for 9 to 1 un un and search for images and you'll find this picture if you want to wind your own. They're very easy to wind. You want these windings, the wires, to remain parallel uh, to each other and nice and tight with the space between them like that. As, as cleanly as you can organize that, the more efficient it will be. And then just follow the wiring diagram here with this going out to the radiator, blue. You can see I drew it here in blue, which I tucked under the edge of my roof. And I managed to get uh, 58 feet of wire for the radiator. Um, ground uh, would be a counterpoise wire, and I ran mine from the feed point straight to the ground and then back around the edge of the house foundation for about 40 feet. Um, and that gives the RF current uh, a balance, a way to go, so it doesn't come back in on your feed line. And then I have a short feed line that comes in through uh, the side of a window here to my antenna tuner. Um, the shorter this is, uh, the better. If you've got a nice counterpoise, you're not going to get much RF off the feed line, and uh, the antenna efficiency is going to be uh, better. And this is kind of a compromise antenna. It's um, right along the edge of your house, you know, so you're, you're going to get noise from inside the house. You're going to get some RF radiation into the house. So this is really a low power antenna. You don't want to go running four or 500 watts on this thing. You'll be, uh, you'll be coming over your own toaster. Uh, so that's the basic diagram of the antenna. It's pretty straightforward. I took some pictures of the installed antenna. Um, first off, here is the feed point. Yeah, I used a food container. Um, I don't have any money to buy any uh, containers, so I just have to use what I ha or enclosures, so I have to use what I have on ha on hand. Uh, but uh, there's the nine to one on on going to the uh, center post of the incoming PL ground tied together here on this side for the uh, counterpoise wire, and then the antenna uh, output here, and then just a link the coax that I've got hooked up to it. The uh, feed point. Here it is installed, and uh, the coax just comes out of a, a hole that I've had here in the side of the window encasement for years that I've used. And you can see this counterpoise wire going down to the ground that follows around the back edge of the house. And the feed line then just goes right on up here to the uh, feed point, 
There's our counterpoise wire. And there's the antenna wire running off. Now I have a, an anchor here with an insulator. This takes up the strain of, uh, of the wire. And then it runs on down the roof line. Uh, let's see. There's another shot. You can see it's running along, and I've just taken a little uh, plastic uh, cable tie um, eyelet here that uh, now you can't really see it from this picture, but the wire runs through it, and that just keeps it keeps it off the wood. I don't think I have to worry too much, but it comes down here, and on the top of this uh, support, I have another little uh, cable tie. And then uh, I have a picture somewhere of it running off. I thought, oh, you can't see it in this shot. The wire, this is before I ran the wire, but the wire comes over to the top of this support and then it just follows the roof right on up, goes over the support at the top, down to the other side where there's another one of these and that's where it anchors. I thought I had a picture of that, evidently I don't. But anyway, that's the way the antenna looks installed. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I put it up in a, in a morning didn't really take much time. The wire's cheap. And it works pretty well. Let's go to the radio and uh, we'll have a listen to it. All right, I've got the end-fed wire hooked up to my Kenwood here. We're listening to a net. I might try to check into it here just as a demo. So I'm on 40 meters. Um, it tuned right up using the built-in tuner on the uh, Kenwood. I also have an LDG electronics tuner down here that uh, is currently in bypass mode but I can use that to tune with it as well for uh, use with the little 817 up here if I wanted to. Um, get a little bit of RF in the house obviously because the antenna is running right across the roof line uh, but I've been able to uh, run 100 watts into it without having any noise come back on my stereo speakers. <laughs> Still though it's probably better uh, considered to be a QRP or low power antenna maybe up to 20 or 30 watts. So let's see if they're going to ask for check-ins on this net. Maybe we can get into the net. We've got about an S3 noise level, which isn't too terrible. That sort of a whooshing sound you're hearing that's crawling upwards is a neighbor's TV set. Kilowatt Bravo 9 Radio Lima Whiskey. Okay, we had two that were slightly double. Let's get the November 5 station first to come down. I wonder if he heard me. Radio <laughs> Lima Whiskey. Got it that time, I think. Come in and give us a translation. This is in for our GM. Okay, Robert. Well, the name here is Kevin. Kevin, Kilo Echo Victor, India, November, up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I'm just testing out uh, an experimental stealth antenna that I just put up uh, last week. Uh, over. Okay, well, you've got pretty good signal coming in here to New Hope. It just seems to be fluctuating a little bit. Uh, when you uh, first came in, I uh, didn't have a good copy at all, but it, it came up as you spoke there. Over. Yeah, the band is uh, is changing right now as the uh, as the sun rises. That's for sure. Uh, and I see you're in New Hope, Alabama. So that's uh, I guess that's all right. Uh, so the antenna must be working. Well, thanks for uh, taking the time and taking the check in, and uh, appreciate it. And I'll uh, throw it back to Net. This is KB9 RLW. KB9 RLW. This is N4 RGN. Well, Kevin, uh, good having you with us this morning from out there in uh, Fort Wayne. All right, so uh, works all right on 40 meters. See if 20 meters is open.
Well, 20 meters is not opening up yet today. Let's see, 80 meters. Tuned right up. Well, it's uh, later morning and 80 meters is closed down for the day and 20 hasn't quite opened up yet. But uh, we got down there to Alabama, no problem. The antenna works fairly well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.